Here's your Sunday morning weather briefing for this March the 17th, and you know what that means. It's St. Patty's Day, so I hope you're wearing a little green today, a little luck of the Irish to you on uh, what will be a cloudy, kind of uh, uh, moist, sort of drizzly sort of day, a little light rain this morning, uh, a little heavier rain over South Alabama later today. Uh, temperatures today not too bad in the uh, lower 60s across the area, but uh, some colder air will be moving into Alabama uh, over the next 36 hours, and that's going to mean uh, some freezing conditions. These are temperatures uh, this morning across Alabama, uh, middle and upper 40s across the northern third of the state. We've got lower to middle 50s uh, in the middle part of the state uh, with some warmer readings uh, further to the south. High temperatures today will look like this. Uh, middle, lower, middle 60s, um, a little more cloudiness across the central part of Alabama, like yesterday, may keep those temperatures a little colder. You'll have to go into southeast Alabama and the uh, coastal counties of Mobile and Baldwin to see temperatures in the 70s today. And then as we um, uh, go into um, Monday, or tomorrow, let's see, tonight for Monday, you can see colder again, but um, we'll sort of be saved by. Um, a little bit of wind that will continue through the overnight hours tonight. Middle and upper 30s up north, lower 40s uh, across the central part of the state. Uh, but um, as we go to Monday night, um, you know, we're going to see really cold temperatures across Alabama. Cold air evaction will be in full force. Uh, middle and upper 20s across the northern half of the state with the freezing conditions really all the way into South Alabama. So um, it's going to be uh, a very cold snap coming to Alabama over the next two or three days. Might even see some frost on wind on Wednesday morning. This is uh, HRRR early this morning depicting what the uh, precipitation echoes are going to do uh, through the day today. You can see uh, a batch of uh, light showers moving through the northern half of the state through the morning hours. Rainfall amounts are going to be light. Um, really over the northern third of the state, they'll probably barely get 500. So we might be lucky to get a tenth of an inch uh, down to uh, somewhere around Selma and Montgomery, that area. But another batch of rain will move in uh, in the afternoon. Really, this is about 1 p.m. showing those showers over southwestern Alabama. Uh, some heavier rain involved, but no real instability. So I don't think we'll see much in the way of thunder. Could hear a couple of claps of thunder from an elevated cell or something, but um, for the most part, this rain will um, be moderate to occasionally heavy and uh, move on across the state fairly quickly. As you can see, it's moving out around sunset and is pretty much out of Alabama. That's a weakening disturbance that's going to bring those showers. Uh, some more showers moving across the northern Gulf uh, during the night and into early Monday. A few showers uh, on the radar still through the uh, overnight hours into early morning on Monday, uh, at least over the southern part of the state, but for the northern half of Alabama. Uh, things look like they will be drying as you're going out through Monday uh, during the day. That um, dry trend continues. This is the upper pattern across North America showing uh, a big omega block over um, western Canada as we have a split flow situation. The uh, southern branch of the jet stream uh, very active across uh, the southwestern United States. See a big upper low there over Arizona with um, uh, a west-southwesterly flow over Alabama and the deep south kind of keeping us mild. But as we go through time the trough over the uh, Great Lakes uh, expands and uh, begins to extend its influence into the south. And by noon on Monday, we've got a very cold northwesterly flow right across Alabama. Despite really good sunshine on Monday, high temperatures in the northern third of the state probably have a hard time getting out of the out of the 40s, uh, 50s um, all the way down into central Alabama with 60s reserved for south Alabama. As we go through time, that cold air evaction pattern is with us through Monday night. Uh, it begins to relax just a bit on Tuesday, and we moderate just a tad. Um, we're looking for highs on Tuesday to be, you know, probably in the middle to upper 50s over the northern half of the state with some lower 60s down south. And um, we'll take a look at, uh, you know, what might happen Monday night in terms of a freeze. By the time I produce this video, just after 1.15 on Sunday morning, the National Weather Service in Huntsville had already issued a freeze watch for uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. I think the National Weather Service in Birmingham will follow suit with that. So you'll want to remember to produce 
protect any tender vegetation, uh, make sure pets are, and people are taken care of uh, Monday night and Tuesday. A little bit of frost tonight, possibly, uh, almost definitely a freeze uh, tomorrow night, Monday night, and then uh, potentially some freeze uh, or some frost, possibly with lows in the 30s. Uh, on Wednesday morning. As we go through time, our flow becomes westerly again, and that cold air advection pattern shuts off. Another disturbance moving out of New Mexico and western Texas here by Thursday. It'll be increasing clouds for us during the day on Thursday and bringing a chance of rain in um, Thursday and uh, into Friday. Uh, ridging builds over the southwestern United States. We see another cold pattern. And look, the United States just uh, pretty much covered up in, uh, in lower than normal pressures with a strong upper low moving into the Texas panhandle by the beginning of the following week. And I think we're going to have to um, keep a really close eye on what might be uh, some strong heavy thunderstorms there on that um, Tuesday in, uh, in week two. All right, let's take a look at the GFS. That's our model of choice for today. Uh, showing showers there across the northern part of the state, heavier showers moving in across southwest and south central Alabama. You can see here by 7 p.m. tonight, uh, or at least through the afternoon hours, rain will be falling over the southern half of Alabama, generally south of, uh, of a line from, you know, Demopolis to Clanton and, you know, over to Auburn. Uh, those showers begin to move out, lessen as we go through the overnight hours tonight. High pressure moves down into South Dakota and is dropping uh, very rapidly into Kansas. This is Monday during the day. You can see the high center, 1,029 millibars there over northeastern Oklahoma. Will be sunny on Monday. Uh, high temperatures uh, in Birmingham uh, around 59, so, you know, 55, 57 up north, uh, 59 to 62 across central Alabama is kind of what you can expect. And then we get into our really cold conditions um, with clear skies, light winds, perfect radiational cooling conditions. Overnight lows uh, on Tuesday morning are going to be in the middle and upper 20s uh, across the northern uh, third of the state with um, upper 20s to lower 30s across the central part. Uh, all the way down into South Alabama, only those uh, Florida border counties uh, may escape uh, getting freezing conditions. And even those locations will have frost on Tuesday morning. Tuesday promises to be another beautiful day. Temperatures will be moderating slightly. It uh, won't be a real warm-up. We're looking for average highs this time of year around 67. Overnight lows around 47. So we're going to be below normal uh, for the next few days. But by you know Tuesday, we should be back. Uh, you know, probably um, upper 50s north, lower to middle 60s uh, across central Alabama. Now, as we get into Wednesday, this should be uh, probably the finest day of the week. Um, 70 is the average high after starting off in the uh, middle and upper 30s. Uh, good supply of sunshine, just partly cloudy skies on Wednesday. But a few showers move in Wednesday night uh, as we get a boundary trying to work its way down into um, north Alabama and that upper system you remember moving out of the west. Now, here comes, uh, you know, during the day on Thursday, we'll see increasing clouds. It's going to be nice. Uh, high temperatures on Thursday, probably 65 up north, 69 to 72 across central Alabama. You can see uh, a lot of rain activity on the, over the west of us by 7 p.m. Thursday night. Heavy rain over the Gulf of Mexico. Low pressure system spins up, moves toward the uh, Florida Peninsula, and this is near midnight. We've got a good bit of rain right along the Gulf Coast and out over the Gulf of Mexico with um, showers to the west of us ahead of a front. That activity pushes into Alabama late Thursday night into Friday. Looks like, um, you know, scattered showers. No real heavy amounts on Friday, but it could be uh, a fairly wet day with uh, occasional showers throughout the day. No look of any instability with this system, and that generally means no thunder. Uh, so we probably get through that system without anything. The rain moves out Friday night. By Saturday morning, it's gone and um, will be a little cooler, but uh, with increasing clouds and some breezy conditions on Saturday. Uh, Saturday looks like a nice day. Uh, you know, high temperatures uh, in the middle to upper 60s, so not bad. A little cooler uh, Sunday morning, but still in the middle and upper 60s on Sunday afternoon. Look at those snows. 
uh, moving across Iowa down into Illinois. Here comes our second system with uh, a fairly strong low pressure center there over southeastern Colorado, 990 millibars. And as we um, get into the uh, period around 7 a.m. Monday morning, that low is intensifying. Moving into southwestern Kansas, we've got a large area of freezing rain uh, from southern Iowa across Illinois into um, into south or, or southern Indiana with some heavy rains, uh, heavy snows falling over um, the uh, central and northern portions of those states. Now, that low weakens as it moves into the Midwest. Showers and thunderstorms move into Alabama. A deeper low is out there over the Texas Panhandle by Monday night. And you can see heavier rain moving into Alabama during the overnight hours on Monday uh, into early Tuesday. Now, the good news is this doesn't look like it's going to um, have any instability Monday night, and that probably means that we get by without too much in the way of thunder Monday night into early Tuesday, but a very concerning pattern uh, sets up here by noon um, on Tuesday. We've got um, fairly strong surface low there in western Illinois, secondary low here over the Gulf of Mexico, but uh, the cold front is back to our west over western Tennessee, northwestern Mississippi, and southeastern uh, parts of uh, Arkansas. So we're going to have to watch it very closely then. Um, and this map right here shows uh, Tuesday morning, 09Z. We're going to move um, up in the future a little bit. Um, this is 18Z, or around 1 p.m. And this is around 6 p.m. So this is going to be late afternoon on, on Tuesday. Um, and you've got a very strong pressure gradient here, uh, probably you know pretty strong south uh, south and southwesterly winds occurring and if you just sample um, this pattern and sample this atmosphere uh, and take a representative sounding off of the GFS um, it does output you know possible tornadoes now you know forecast capes are going to get fairly strong you know fairly impressive as a matter of fact now, let's see which map I showed that on but this is um, this is Cape for Tuesday afternoon at one o'clock and you've got some you know 1800 to 2400 joules of cape there over eastern Mississippi western Alabama uh, that begins you know to diminish as we lose the heating of the day um, but that's really still something we're going to have to keep a very close eye on these are upper level winds we'll look at some 500 millibar wind speeds and you see a very strong um, mid-level jet moving into the region that is um, very indicative of a potential severe weather situation and uh, very strong low-level jet um, these winds right here are going to be you know 60 65 knots and um, that is very concerning uh, for that severe weather potential now this system moves on out into Georgia pretty quickly um, it's we're still dealing with it you know, Wednesday morning the 27th, the rain's moving out fairly quickly, and it uh, looks like we'll um, uh, live through the rest of the week two voodoo period without any showers, possibly at all. Looks like that system of beginning of the weekend sort of falling apart. Here comes another strong system uh, toward the end. Look here, folks, we can already see April. Isn't that incredible? Temperatures off the national blend of models. Uh, here in Birmingham, warmest uh, day of the next three will be today, 64 degrees for the daytime high. Um, 40, 39, 40 overnight tonight in Birmingham, colder to the north. Only 55 on Monday, 58 on Tuesday. There's your coldest morning, which will be Tuesday morning, Monday night. Uh, overnight lows in the middle and upper 20s up north, lower 30s across south Alabama. But we quickly rebound by Wednesday and Thursday to near 70. Fall back just a bit Friday and Saturday. That's with the rain on Friday. And um, improving weather on Saturday. Have a nice little run Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with highs about 71 before another cold front arrives and brings us um, a little bit cooler weather uh, for Wednesday the 27th. Well, that's your weather briefing for this Sunday. I'll have notes on the blog, a complete uh, update on the forecast coming up at noon for you. You shouldn't have to make too many changes, but we'll keep an eye on the radar let you know where it's raining and remind you to watch Weather Brains. Uh, we record every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central. You can watch it live at weather at uh, youtube.com uh, forward slash weather brains. Our guest tomorrow night will be Lorena Lim. 
who is the chief meteorologist for Telemundo in Oklahoma. And she's worked for the Weather Channel, was a research meteorologist in Cuba, and uh, has a very fascinating story to tell. So join us for uh, Weather Brains, the weekly netcast that's all about weather. Well, I'll turn it over to James Spann for two a days, uh, all during the work week coming ahead. Scott will be back next Saturday with your video. I'll see you on Sunday. And until I get that chance, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you're always going to have something fun to look at.